Hello and welcome to episode 13 of 13. the Orkney series. Yes, it's a chilly one today. Oh. We're back in it's the cold. town of Kirkwall and it's a bit different to last time we were here. Just a tad. I do believe we were in the vest tops and things like that <laughs> last time. That'll not be happening today. No. And uh, we're here to play a tune by wonderful Arcadian singer-songwriter Ivan Drever. And his tune is called The Rose of St Magnus. So behind us is actually the beautiful St Magnus Cathedral and there is so much information that we could tell you but we're just gonna we're just gonna give you some little snippets of information that we like and uh, yeah leave the rest uh, up to you guys to go away and research <laughs> yes indeed so a couple of bits for you this is actually the most northern cathedral in Britain and it's known as the light of the north and it's fairly unique because it's actually owned by the people of Orkney yeah we're so lucky and because it is a cathedral it is actually the reason that our great town becomes a magnificent city <laughs> a couple of losers. so the cathedral took over 300 years to build long time it's a long time and uh, as you can see it's sitting behind us there in the sunlight as it always seems to be the yep. sun always shines in the cathedral it's made primarily of red sandstone and then there's the beautiful stained glass windows in there as well. As well as our beautiful cathedral here in Orkney, there was actually a further 10 churches dedicated to Magnus in Norway. Um, another cathedral in Kirkjuvar in the Faroes, which sadly is now in ruins. Um, and then on top of this, seven more churches in Iceland and five more in Shetland. So it actually shows you the sheer reach that Magnus had and how important he was back then, but also still is to this day. Work began on the cathedral in 1137 and it was commissioned by Earl Ronald um, in honour of his uncle Magnus. So Magnus actually shared the earldom of Orkney with his cousin Hakon. However, Hakon was actually a really kind of nasty and very greedy and jealous person and he didn't want to share um, the earldom with Magnus. So to avoid civil war in Orkney, Magnus um, decided to become a martyr and he sacrificed himself on the island of Igglesey. And um, this whole story is actually kind of, it's sad, it's a bit gruesome, but it's also a really good read and it tells you a lot about the history of Orkney and St Magnus. And um, it can be found in a fantastic book called The Orkney Inga Saga. Shall we um, take a look inside? I think we should it's a little bit chilly. <laughs> so in 1919 uh, the bones of St Magnus were found here in this pillar and they remain there to this day uh, but the box that they were found in now lives across at the Orkney Museum so that's worth a look if you get up here too. So for the 850th anniversary of this beautiful building the stained glass was commissioned for this amazing window behind us, which is known as the West Window. Now, this was back in 1987, and it was designed by a wonderful person called Creer McCartney, and they made the design so unique to the cathedral and to Orkney. Um, within the pictures, or within the stained glass, um, there's loads of different stories. You can see lots of our industry with our fishing and our farming, the flair of flotta, is also the big orange colours there, but it also is for the Ring of Brodgar. There's so many, and one very important for St Magnus, he died when an axe hit his head, and that is the very top one in the window, but it also has a picture of a dove as a symbol of hope. So it is a very, very beautiful window indeed. So there's many more um, things depicted. <laughs> in the window, but um, we don't have time to go through them all, so you'll just have to come and see for yourself. The window was actually unveiled by the Queen and it was funded by a lot of local uh, businesses, schools, lots of people getting involved in paying for the window. The wonderful Ivan Dreamer was commissioned to write a tune to commemorate the event. And that tune is The Rose of St Magnus. So. As well as playing this for you, we actually have a wee surprise. We're going to be joined by a very special guest who we're pretty sure most of you are going to recognise. <coughs> there she is! 
is of course the wonderful <laughs> Jennifer Austin. Now we try and have links with the band getting people in to play with us and speak to us and Jen's link obviously is she played with us for a number of years in the band but um, she also has a link with the cathedral. Her granddad, uh, the Reverend Bill Kant, was the minister here for 22 years and he actually christened myself and and Jen here. Mm. I heard that you uh, screamed the place down. <laughs> and for every day since. <laughs> <laughs>